Hello, welcome to the unconventional classroom, the lesson with a twist. Let's get started right away. Now, one common misconception, oil and gas don't just float underground in some big bubble waiting to be popped. Hydrocarbons attract deep underground within microscopic holes in the rock. Let me show you how small the holes are. This is a core sample of conventional reservoir rock. And this is unconventional reservoir rock. Let's get a closer look. In our unconventional classroom, we don't need microscopes. I could just shrink you instead. Hold still. Look to your left at the conventional rock. Now that you're 10,000 times smaller, you can see that it's permeable, a bit like a sponge. So water, oil or gas molecules can travel freely through the pores. Now look to your right, to the unconventional sample. Shale is impermeable. There's nowhere for the molecules to flow. But by making fractures in this rock, we can create tiny pathways for them to travel. Let's bring you back to your normal size. To your left is our unconventional drilling site. A miniature model, of course. This drill bit is to scale though. Oh, you probably want to see the rig at real scale too. Okay, take a look through the door. We're able to drill eight wells from this one drilling site. When the drilling's done, we can remove it without a trace. Take a look back at our miniature model. To contact our shale reservoir, we need to drill down vertically and then horizontally. Let's see the drilling closer. As you descend, you're going back in time. This rock was formed in the Jurassic era, 200 million years ago. Back on the rig, specialist drilling engineers are able to precisely steer through the formation, navigating this ancient landscape with cutting edge technology. It can take up to a month to drill a horizontal well, so let's speed things up a bit. We can drill one and a half kilometers through the formation that's as far as we should go. Let's head back. Now, on to completion. With drilling done, the rig is removed. We then need to complete each well. We run steel tubing down hole and inject cement to embed it into the rock. Next, we need to perforate the casing with this well stimulation device. This one needs one more charge. We run the device into the well on wire with an electric pulse to fire the charges. Here we go. With these small perforations made, we're ready to fracture the rock by pumping in water at extremely high pressure. To fracture shale, we need pressures of around 9,000 PSI, which is the equivalent of having nine camels standing on the head of this tiny pin. To make pressures like that, we need big, powerful pumps. That's what these trucks are for. The pumps inject several tons of water and propens through the pipe to make fractures like these. As water is a precious commodity, we're developing how we can use seawater to do this sustainably. Let me zap you again. The propens grains are like sand and find their way through the fractures with the injection water. Propent fills the fractures to hold them open, transforming this tight rock into porous rock that hydrocarbon molecules can now travel through. We make these fractures in zones along the entire shale reservoir before producing the hydrocarbons, and there's a lot to produce. In this area alone, we estimate there are about 160 trillion standard cubic feet of recoverable unconventional gas resources, in addition to 22 billion barrels of unconventional oil recoverable resources. These underpin the UAE's role as a leading hydrocarbon resource holder reinforcing the country's energy security and its position as an essential and reliable energy provider to the world.